as, as one person put it, it's putting the sweet back in Auburn. So now we're in the lower level of the Atlanta Daily World Building. There are two suites down here. One is Arden's Gardens Juice, and what we're standing in now will be Condessa Coffee. The Daily World's had this very rich history up to 1912 and had a variety of uses. It gets its namesake from the Atlanta Daily World newspaper, the longest operating African-American newspaper in continuous operation in the U.S. But it's also had a ton of other uses. So from 1918 to the mid-1930s, the Virgil Coffee Company was here. And it's just cool that Condessa Coffee will be returning. First time in 80 years that coffee is coming back to the daily world. And it's just wonderful because our coffee shop is about conversation, it's about community, and so is this building. To have a coffee shop back here in a building that historically has been about communication and conversation, it's just wonderful to see. So now we're upstairs in the Atlanta Daily World building. Upstairs there were uses um, throughout history. The Atlanta Daily World had its offices here. It was also home to the first African American Girl Scout troop. Um, but in the 1930s it was also apartments. And so we're bringing apartments back, 1930s era historic apartments. It's up to us to give tools to remember. You know, I mean, like the streetcar coming back as an example. There were 300 miles of streetcar in Atlanta at one time. Are we remembering by having a new one coming back? Not unless someone gives us a tool to remember. Maybe that's, you know, a photography exhibit. Maybe it's something online. Maybe it's a ribbon cutting. Maybe it's journalism. So yeah, I do think that we are remembering. The Daily World Building certainly one of those living, breathing examples. And we'll have an online presence. Um, I'm doing stuff on Sidewalk Radio about it, but there could be more. <laughs> 